And when I got my deal, Joe and Brian were like, you know, do you have any idea who you want to produce you? Mm. And of course, I didn't know any producers. I'm like, well, whoever I guess produces Alan Jackson or George Strait or something like that. And they're like, well, do you know a guy named Carson Chamberlain? And I'm like, no. And they're like, well, he produces, you know, Billy Currington and he's produced other guys. And, um, but they're like, you know, he used to play for Keith Whitley and, you know, that connection. And, and he uh, worked with Alan Jackson. I'm like, all right. So they introduced me and Carson and, and man, we really hit it off. You know, his, his love for traditional country music, my love for traditional country music. And, you know, Carson, is, he's such a, a great song guy, mm. great song guy. Was, how did that process work for you? Because, you know, being new in the industry and having, fi you know, finding these songs, talk about that because you're, I, I felt like you really kind of, like you said, ignorance is bliss. Right. Like, you know, where am I going? But you knew who you were, right? Because right from the get-go, being a country guy and, and yeah. having that love, I know Merle Haggard was a big oh, yeah. influence Haggard, on you. Jones, Whitley. And, yeah. You know, the great thing about Carson, he, you know, he would bring songs to me, but he would very rarely bring songs that he had written to me. Mm. He would just kind of let me... You know, we, we would go, it's different today a lot of times because, you know, back then we'd take song meetings and go in there and, and song pluggers would play a song, you know, uh, 30 minutes of songs and you, you know, you'd find a song or two you liked and take it with you and live with it. And Carson was always great with kind of just letting me follow my instinct. Mm. And, you know, he would, I mean, he would definitely guide me in direction, but I would just, I would find a song I loved and he's like, all right, if you love it, man, let's cut it.